Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. I'm Dwayne and this is Kevin. And we know you guys love exhaust videos. Here's a video with some information we discovered that may surprise you. Today we're gonna to talk about exhaust tips. But before we get started, we'd appreciate it if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. It'd really help us out. So, have you, you've not seen these before, have you? I've Dwayne? never seen those. Okay. I had two sets of exhaust tips made, same design, one's just shorter than the other, and uh, I have custom made some exhaust slip-ons because we know that exhaust, when it gets to a larger area, mm -hmm. reversion occurs. Right. We know that the faster exhaust gas travels out the pipe, the faster it pulls a fresh charge into the combustion chamber. So what I did is I made some exhaust slip-ons that were the same diameter around as the headers. Mm -hmm. Because there is, when you go from the headers to the slip-ons and it gets bigger, the exhaust gas slows down. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't thinking about looks, I wasn't thinking about sound, I w wanted to do an experiment on what exhaust gave the best power. And my theory was that if I had the uh, slip-on the same diameter as the header, that I would have more power because I would have faster exhaust gas velocity, which means a better charge going into the intake, which means more power. So it was simple but I didn't want to have just the end of the pipe just be cut off, right? So I had a friend cut these and I put them in. And you can show a picture of them on the bike. Uh, I put them on the bike uh, before our 40 day, 45 day trip where we went up to Bella Coola. And um, liked how it sounded, they sounded pretty good. and there was a significant bump in power. All right, so I, I'm gonna make an assumption since you don't have them on there any longer, they fell short of your expectations. So before I'd left, before we left on the trip, I'd run the pipes with no tips on them at all. I run them with some other tips that we had and then I ran them with these end caps. And I was so excited, they looked good, yeah. and they sounded good, and it ran good that for the first two or 3,000 miles I, I rode with them, I was totally happy. But then as you're riding along and you're thinking while you're riding, and I started realizing, I don't think I have as much power with these end caps in there as I did when I didn't have anything in right. there. So what I did is just two bolts. I just took the two bolts out and took the end caps out and went for a ride and go, oh, I have more power without the end caps. What happens, these caps go into the pipe. Right. So you can see that the inside of these, uh, these end caps are black from the exhaust, but you can see that the edge is just as black as the inside because that exhaust gas as it was traveling down the pipe, yes, most of it was going through the hole, but a bunch of it was hitting this tiny little ridge here, mm -hmm. and it was disrupting the flow of the gas and slowing it down. And if it slows it down here, if it slowed down here, everything up the chain all the way to the exhaust valve is slowed down. Yeah. You can't slow down here and still be the same speed, you know, further up the line. So it was slowing down the exhaust gas velocity. So when I took it out, I had more power. I could feel it. Seat of the pants, more power. Fortunately, I brought different tips with me that slipped on over the outside of the pipe. And you're going to put a picture of that up right yeah. here. And I rode the rest of the trip that way. Okay. Uh, that was also the trip where I was in Idaho uh, with a friend of mine, and we were riding up a pretty steep hill, uh, both of us full throttle up like a six or seven percent grade for like seven or eight miles and he had a screaming eagle stage four and all I had was my stage one my great stage one 
good cooling, everything. And I was keeping up with him. And he, he was on the, his trike alone, and it was me and Mary on ours. And I was keeping up with him. And so with the stage one, keeping up with the stage four. Now he said that he had a little bit left. I didn't have anything left. He said he just had a little bit left. And he did inch ahead of me a few times. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking feet, not yards. And so that was after I'd taken these out and put the other yeah. caps on. If I would have still had these in there, he would have taken off from me. So exhaust gas velocity, which is why, you know, the best power you're going to get out of exhaust is with an open exhaust with thunder torque inserts, mm -hmm. which stop the reversion. Oh, and I had thunder torque inserts in here. Okay. Okay. But the, the thing is, is that the thunder torque inserts are shaped in such a way that when the air flows over it, it creates a venturi effect and it actually sucks the the exhaust gas is out as it flows over mm -hmm. so it actually speeds up the exhaust gas velocity um now, but what I, what i noticed uh -huh. what's interesting to me is this is a very similar design the slip joint style is what vance and hines uses on so, some of their right it's what uh, it, there there are a crazy number of exhaust companies now we're not an exhaust company we're a company that makes parts to make our bikes ride better, handle better, be more comfortable. We're, but there's companies out there who focus on exhaust, who are making exhaust, I guess that looks good, mm -hmm. but does not perform very well. So there's- You know, I've, I've, I even noticed that not only is there uh, build up around the lip here, there were some getting in the joint. Yeah. So, you know, that's disrupting the exhaust flow. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, it's getting in the joint. It's discoloring a little there. It's crazy. I would have never guessed that that little lip would make such a big difference. But when you think about it, if you're, flow, if you're flowing water or air over something, the minute there's any interruption mm -hmm. in the smoothness of the flow, you can see like with water, if there's just a little ledge that the water's flowing over, there's all kinds of ripples and different stuff happening and it interrupts the flow. Okay. So, so, and we thought you guys would like this information because most of you watching this probably has an exhaust tip designed just like that. And you're leaving a lot of performance on the table by running that tip. Yeah. Cap. Yeah. When look, you know, everybody has, what do we say about exhaust? There's three things that are important. I look good, sound good, perform good. Yeah. So, you know, some people only care about looks. If you only care about looks, it doesn't matter about end caps. Uh, some people only care about looks and sounding good. And there's no doubt that these you don't hurt the sound. But if you want performance, don't get an exhaust that has an end cap that slips in there. It's going to disrupt the flow. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Y'all ride safe out there.